Hey y'all, so today I have a little recipe for y'all. I found this recipe via Ruled Me. I will put a link to the recipe down below, but I wanted to give it a try. We are going to make keto pancake donuts and maybe donut holes. I have this little donut pan as well as this little donut hole maker, or I guess it's a cake pop maker, but I'm calling it donut holes. I bought it for $5 at Goodwill like two years ago, so I honestly don't know if it works, but we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. I just cleaned it very much thoroughly though, very thoroughly, so I know it's good and clean and ready to use. Without further ado, let me show you what you need. Even at home, Bo always has to eat when I film a video. And there's always toys in the dog's food because there's one of our dogs that always sticks them in the food bowl for some reason. Look, see, there's another one in that food bowl. I don't know why, but every time. All right, back to the recipe. The ingredients that you're going to need is some cream cheese, some erythritol or some swerve, that's what I am using, some coconut flour, some almond flour, as well as some baking powder, vanilla extract, and some liquid stevia, as well as three eggs. And look how pretty these green eggs are that my chickens laid. Pay no attention to my ugly nails, but aren't they pretty? They're green. So those are the ingredients that you are going to need for this recipe. Additionally, you're going to need a donut pan or, you know, some type of little thing like this. The original recipe, she used something like this, but it made mini donuts. So whatever you have will work. And look at this cute little kitty. Are you my baking partner? You gonna help me bake, bud? Since this oven takes forever to heat up, I have it currently heating up to 350 degrees. Oh look, there's me, hello. All right, so we're going to start by cracking our three eggs into a bowl. Ooh, this chicken has had a lot of calcium. That is a strong shell. Those eggs look nice and dark. Shout out to my chickens for actually laying us some eggs. Next, I just weighed out three ounces of cream cheese and we're going to throw that into our bowl as well. I went ahead and weighed it out, but I did five tablespoons of almond flour. Next up is one tablespoon of coconut flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm going to add four tablespoons of your erythritol, or in this case, I am using Swerve. And lastly, I am just going to do 10 drops of this liquid stevia into the batter. There we go, and that is our completed batter. All right, I am very much hoping that this does not go everywhere. Let's give it a try. My batter is all mixed together. I am going to do part of it in this donut pan. I'm going to spray it with some coconut oil and throw this in the oven at 350 degrees until they're done. I honestly don't know a time, but we will figure it out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the oven for I'm guessing 10 to 15 minutes. I really have no idea. We shall see. Here is my other baking assistant, Bo. <laughs> he always thinks that I'm gonna hurt him or something when I pull out a camera. But look at, look, wait. Can we just, can we just take a minute? I just love that little fuzz right by his nose. Oh, I love it so much. Can you shake? Oh, good boy. This thing kind of started smoking. 
which has me a little bit concerned. I got the fan on so we don't like turn on the fire alarm. But you know, buying this from Goodwill and leaving it in the garage for two years may have not been the best idea. But you know what, we're gonna give it a try and if I burn the house down, it'll be a good video, okay? Well, let's go for it, y'all. Time for the moment of truth. Oh, well, these didn't turn out too bad. Now to see if I can get them out. Oh. My little donut holes, you know, they turned out okay. You know, they're donut holes, y'all, donut holes. But these turned out real pretty. I had them in there for about 11 minutes. They have a nice consistency. I'm about to flip them out of the pan and see what we got to work with. Let's just check out my little keto donuts. They look really good. I'm super pumped. My little donut holes, you know, they have a little bit of something to be desired for, but they work. Let's do a quick little taste test. Those are actually really good. So these would be really good dipped in like sugar-free syrup. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that donut recipe. It was so good. And remember, they aren't donuts. They're more of like a pancake donut. And they would be super good with some sugar-free syrup drizzled over the top. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.